morning, brethren. We continue with our daily reflective encounter. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the opportunity to sit at your word and learn from the same. We pray that, Lord God Almighty, that you may teach us in accordance to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. The theme of today's message, brethren, is a redemptive glory of God taken from the book of Romans chapter 23 to 24. All human beings manifest their involvement in Adam's departure from right by constantly falling short of the glory of God. Falling short refers to the lack or to be without the glory of God. This includes us getting away from the design of God, lacking splendor and radiance of God. The outward manifestation of what God is, is what lacks within a person, as the word refers and says that all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Majesty and sublimity are also part of the glory of God. Majesty involves power. Sublimity involves a superior and elevated position that of the one who is supreme, and that is God. In his elevated position, whom he says he never shares his glory with mortal men, shows the splendor of God himself. And the word of God says in John chapter 11, verses 40, that Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? But it is received and made a part of those who believe and is their destiny. And therefore, as human beings, we fall short of the glory of God because by nature we are human beings. But that within the defect of the point of a miss in the presence of the Lord, God does not disapprove us, but through his redemptive glory, he gives us the same love and grace. The word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 18, And we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Human beings are therefore constantly lacking God's glory because their continual practice of sin denies all that the glory of God means. And therefore it is a reflective moment for us to understand that the intention of God is to, for him to restore the glory that he desires to see in all he made and that is us as human beings. Therefore, we are called, as the word of God says, to be justified freely by grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. This must be attained and can only be attained through Jesus Christ. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.